taken quite some time, but I did eventually get all the parts to complete this project that I wanted to use with this old Disc Makers Reflex 4. I've pulled out all the drives and replaced them with five Blu-ray drives. Uh, I have two whatever LGs and um, I just got these ones off eBay. These can rewrite Blu-rays. This one can actually play HD DVDs, which is a failed competitor to Blu-ray, which not everyone remembers existed, but it did at some point. And uh, I bought this because I could get really, really cheap HD DVDs for films that weren't necessarily out on Blu-ray yet. This one does not burn Blu-rays. This one does not burn Blu-rays and this one does, but I'm not gonna be using the burning functionality of any of these things. I just got this to mass rip movies. I have a single internal drive on my computer which can rip 4K Blu-rays. It's one of the only models that can actually do that. You need modified firmware to do it though. For just mass ripping of regular shows, it's really nice to just plug this in and get five more drives and just rip from them all simultaneously. So that should be really cool. After I picked up all the drives, I made a couple little changes to this thing. One, I've reversed the fan flow. And two, I've also installed a bunch of serial ATA power adapters. So now I can power all the drives. I also have one serial ATA cable. I'm gonna install the rest of the cables and I'm gonna show the controller that I'm gonna use for this thing. I'm gonna be using a combination of two controllers for this. One is this iStar USA ZAGE-D-ESAAU3 which is a five port serial ATA to USB and eSATA adapter. Now I can't use the USB 3. Apparently it just does not work with optical drives properly, nor does it properly provision them as individual drives. So it just shows the first drive and none other. So it's completely useless. I have this unit, which is a little USB module which gives you an e serial ata port but this one specifically can interface with the j micron controllers on this board and it will provide a port multiplier with individual drives so even though serial ata is normally point to point this will actually split the five serial ata ports up from the single e serial ata port so when this is plugged in with an e serial ata cable all five optical drives show up as individual drives and they all work independently. This board uses a combination of three J Micron controllers to provide the five ports and it does work quite well. I did purchase a different brand initially and it was a two port model because it was much cheaper and I was using another uh, very generic port multiplier and I tried to link them together because I didn't really care about speed as long as the thing just worked and that did not work. I tried to order the five port model from the same company and that just never showed up. The company just didn't ship it and Amazon had to refund it and they were the only ones who had it in stock. And from what I've read, that doesn't work properly either. You still need this combination of this drive or this controller and the USB controller. So this will only work with uh, E-Serial ATA if you're using the individual optical drives and since most motherboards aren't compatible with port multipliers you're pretty much stuck with the usb method but at least it's usb 3. installation was super simple i just grabbed a couple screws and just popped out one of the uh little panels that are all removable on the back of this case in my initial testing i found that the controllers on this unit run a little hot so i wasn't really comfortable with that so i stuck a little a couple little heat sinks on it although i couldn't get one small enough to fit on the bottom and I'd like to direct the air downward. Now I could just use some paper or something. Instead, I 3D printed a nice little 90 degree elbow, which I will be using right here. There's a pretty quick find on uh, Thingiverse. I just looked for a, an 80 millimeter fan duct. Now it doesn't line up perfectly with it. It sticks out a little too far, but that's good enough. It should just provide enough air flow just to keep things cool. There we go, nice quick installation. And now this thing looks like it has part of a 1980s Batman set built into it. Okay, I've finished all the cable management and finished installing the nice little duct. The serial ATA cables obviously are flat, so they're providing a nice little, 
a little guy to move the, the air back towards the controller. So I think that might work out pretty well. I had to move the controller down one notch because the uh, Molex connector fouled on this, which I probably should have noticed in the first place, but I can always just glue this back in to make it look pretty again. Now when I plug in with an E-Serial ATA cable, it should just show up as five drives. Now that I have everything assembled, I can, for example, rip all of a season and a half of my wife's shows at once. I believe the show is about a time traveling space pirate, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If I power it on, pull in all the drives, it will take a second to recognize. All the drives show up just fine and make MKV will be able to make copies of them, no problem. Do I recommend doing this? Not unless you have a lot of discs to rip. I mean, you might as well just use a couple USB readers and just use that. But if you have, a, if you're like me and you have a lot of discs to rip and you rip TV series, especially it's a bit pricey because you have to track down this thing and then you got to buy all the drives and then the controllers, the controllers come up to like a hundred bucks just on their own. So it's expensive. I happen to have a bunch of drives and I got this thing pretty cheap. So it wasn't too bad. If you really need to rip a lot of discs, it does work quite well and it's something that you can put away at the end of the day. You can unplug this and throw it in the closet instead of having it inside your computer, like with getting a super tower that holds six, seven optical drives. You can have a much smaller, normal size computer. I have a Fractal Design Define R6 and it only holds one optical drive. So it's nice to be able to just plug in this thing and then put it away at the end of the day.